Yes! Checkpoints! Yeah, I got all the stuff that uh, I got in the last part that I lost after the freeze off camera, so yee, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough of death. Ah. Ah, okay. So much repetition in the routines, but it's unfortunately necessary for maximum efficiency. Anyway, I am going to laugh at the frame rate issues, and what I'm gonna do is go over to the Oceanside Spider House. But first, you know, I gotta kinda, kinda get some supplies here, so... Here comes more repetition! Let's roll around as a Goron through the grass and try and get some stuff. <laughs> hmm, I'd say that looks pretty good. So, oops, 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 back over to the ocean, and obviously now, because we reset time and everything, the babies aren't saved, you know, the eggs, but that doesn't matter, it, it just matters that you got the song. <laughs> it, like, Lulu probably when she finds out later that the babies weren't actually saved, even though they gave you the song, she might question that a little bit. But don't worry, it'll, it'll be fine, I assure you. <laughs> All right, let's move on over to that Oceanside Spider House. Oh boy, now, uh, this place, not that difficult per se, it's just that there's a lot of awkward hiding spots in it, so it might take me quite a while to do. <laughs> but we'll see, I suppose. Uh, I'm gonna need bombs, hookshot, actually, I don't, I don't even need the uh, Zora mask. Yeah, let's go in. Woo! Yeah! So... Gotta blast that open. Oh, yeah! Alrighty, so... As you can tell... There be more of the spiders. Hello, guy. You are dead. There's one, there's 30 of them in here as well, and... Yeah. It, it'll, it might be a little bit, I assure you, but I will do my best to do this as quickly as humanly possible. <laughs> um, can I, like... Oh, wait, what am I doing that for? I want this out. Yeah, I thought I could just, like... Oh, no, I can't. I need the... F I guess I need the powers of the fire arrows for that one. I was wondering... Whoa. Oh. How did I miss something so big?! How did I miss something so big? No. No. <laughs> anyway, let's go up over. Oh, mm, I'm too close to the fence. There we go. And that's why you need the hook shot to get in. <laughs> but, you know, you'll always have the fire arrows because, you know, you get them from the dungeons. And, yeah. All right. Middle room here. Let's see what we've got. Uh, I think I'm gonna go and just switch back to regular arrows. Uh, oh, maybe I should have gotten some Deku sticks. Well... <laughs> uh, yeah, if you shoot the masks... Uh, oops. Oh shoot, whoa, 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 whoa. If you shoot the masks, you can sometimes get prizes. I believe there's also a uh, spider bit behind one of them. <laughs> I don't I remember which level it is, though, but... Uh, let's just bash our faces into these things, though. Yep, there's a spider. Yep, they are hiding everywhere, and they get even more obscure as you go. I think you can go, like, bash the wall next to this one. I, I, maybe not. Well, uh, I have to keep switching arrows, aren't I? Because I don't want to waste magic the whole time. <laughs> ah, there we go. Woo. Victory for me, sort of. And <laughs> now there's, I believe there's one up in the, oh shoot, what am I doing with that? I keep clicking the wrong button. Yeah, there's one up in the rafters here. Uh, nailed it. Oh, did not nail the token though. There we go. Okay, I just want to take a peek-see behind the, 
Yeah, I could have swore there was one behind one of these masks somewhere. It might be on another level or another room or something like that. I just remember that it's... Oh, that's the one. Okay. I did it again! Dang it! <laughs> Luckily, there's not that many things that need bombs here, but... <laughs> I can always go back and... Tor uh, go and run through the grasses, the Goron and whatnot, so... Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, oh! You get... You... No, 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 Oh, oh! Dang you and your squiggliness! Oh! And... Very... Finicky... Control stick! Ish thing. I'm, I'm much usually much better at aiming with this, I swear, but <laughs> I'm gonna actually go and place myself somewhere that it will go. How about that? Like I should be just be going nice and soft like that, but I'm just so twitchy for some reason. There we go. Voila. <laughs> and let's just bash our head into a bunch of these just to see if there be any spiders. Hmm, eh, it doesn't appear to be. I think there's one... Oh, there's a bow there. I think there's one up in, uh... I can't... Mm, I did it again! I should just... I should just make my... Um... Make my, uh... Lo long shot... That button. <laughs> there we go. Problem solved. Probably. <laughs> anyway... Mm. I'm just gonna bash into everything here. Oh, there's another one behind the, the mask. I just wanna... Oh, these are closed pots. They won't have anything. Uh, can I shoot through that? No, I can't. I thought maybe, maybe I could glitch through it for kicks. Man. Man. <laughs> Let's break that open. And no, I thought there was a spider in one of the pots at one of the higher areas. Oops. Yep, there is. Uh-huh. There we go. Oh shoot, I let go of the- oh, that still worked! <laughs> I don't think there's one in here though, it's just... Yeah, just arrows. Although I could probably use a couple arrows, there we go, why not? There's also this little hole in the wall. I can shoot out here, you can shoot... the spider... Yeah, the spider in the hole. There you go. Um... Let's see here, let's take a peek, see around. And there's still one more in this room. Did I? Is it in this pot? Yes, it is. <laughs> How's it going there, my scratchy friend? Not too well now, is are you? Is it? <laughs> okay, it sounds like that I got all the spiders from this room because there's no more scoochy scratching. So now I'm gonna go back up here and uh, blast this open, I suppose. Yeah, if I had a Deku stick, I would just use the torch, but eh, I have plenty of magic and arrows. I guess it doesn't really matter that much. Alright, let's see if there's... Oh, how did I not bash my... Uh, what? I, thought, I was going to say, is that pot unbashable? <laughs> uh, obviously, there is... Uh, you, you can't talk to these dealios without a uh, certain mask, so I'll just kind of get, get them out of my way. <laughs> As a matter of fact, there's a puzzle here for a uh, heart piece that would otherwise require the mask. But I can, in theory, trial and error it. Uh, but, you know, I, I'd like to come back at least to show the uh, dialogue and whatnot. There's also a oh, slightly different colored little chest here. And... You going over here... Oh, I, I'm at point blank range and I'm missing. <laughs> Um, you can also climb up the bookshelves, like a ladder. Yeah, where there's no books. That's pretty clever, I must say. Uh, can I get that one from here? Yes, I can! That'll save me some, for some, from some jumping. Uh, what about this portrait over here? It's gonna do a cutscene every time I knock a portrait off the wall, isn't it? It is, of course. And, you know, I wonder why there's Skull Kid portraits in here. Like, did he come in here to prank? things and whatnot, and just left stuff around here. Whoops. Well, uh, do I have to... Yeah, I do think I have to jump across that, because I need to get up to that hole in the wall. Let's try and jump across normally, yeah, without any sort of roll. And I'll get myself carefully positioned. There we go. 
And by the way, the the, the stall childs here, uh, you know the ones that I killed here, but like this, uh, like this dealio on the chair here. It's just they they got some pretty good dialogue, so I definitely would like to talk to them later. So yeah, <laughs> but as you can tell, it's just like they're just like hanging out here, just having a good time. And then he just like, eh, let's kill them. <laughs> they don't really hurt you or anything like that. It's just you can kill them. They'll come back when you leave the room and stuff like that. But yeah, I think I can. Yeah, I can grab and push this over to the side. Wow! There we go. Wow! There we go. <laughs> There's still more in the room somewhere. Um, I think there is a... Wait, no, 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 no. That's not the point in the room that I'm thinking of. I think there is a... Another bookshelf that you can push. I thought. Maybe, maybe not. Alright, wait, isn't this... Uh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Lens of Truth. Lens of Truth. Let's take a peek, see around here, because I'm pretty sure there was something that require the lens in here. Mm hmm. Hmm. Pretty sure, but not positive. <laughs> hmm. Hmm? Hmm. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, well. Let's take a, another look-see up top, I suppose, because there might be another spot that has a Oh, 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 that, that one, yeah. Yes. Oh, no, that's not the one. <laughs> I was the only one that had one, I guess. Uh, oh, that's where it was. I thought there was something that required the Lens of Truth, though. Somewhere in here. Um, the Scritchy Scratchies appear to be over, so that means this room is completed. Yahoo! Okay. <laughs> Um, was this the door that I came in the room from, or is this the door leading to... Oh, yeah, this was the door. Or, wait, wait, hold on a sec. Well, I thought there was another door that leads to another room in here. See, there's no map in here, so... I just kind of end up wandering around randomly, and I told you they would come back. <laughs> um, yeah, I didn't... Hold on. I think this is the one that I pushed before. It just, it just kind of resets with you, yeah. When you leave the room and come back. Okay, yeah, I guess that was it. But I, I could have swore there was another... Oh, maybe there's another library-type room that had another door attached to it. Well, anyway, let's go downstairs, and if need be, I'll go back to that room and search around for a door. But I don't think I missed a door there. It's just... yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's two doors down here. There's one over here, covered by spider webs, and then there's one over here that's unlocked and raring to go. I'm gonna go in here because it's unlocked and rare in the auto. This is the one that you need the uh, the powers of a certain mask to be able to get through that gate to finish a puzzle here. But it, it's possible to just trial and error this. Um, anyway, bash that and you'll knock out the Skulltulas from the uh, chandelier. And I believe there are... well that's actually handy. I believe there are a couple of Skulltulas in the pots. I thought, yeah, in the open pots. There he goes. Just kind of get all the skulltulas running around there. There's another, <laughs> there's another one. Yeah, this, this place is just infested, as you would expect from a spider house. Um, try not to touch them, though, because they, they, they cry or, and they take one heart of damage. Although I have seen like speedrunners kill themselves on, like on the very last... Skulltula, like, right after they collect it, just to let they'll exit the spider house a lot quicker. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's like a death-to-save-time sort of dealio. Okay, can I get all three of these at once? Oops, what am I doing? What am I doing? Yeah, of course I can get all three of these at once. <laughs> and, of course, I killed Skull Child, Skull Child anyway, but eh! <laughs> Doesn't really matter that much. <laughs> There's another one in this room. Oops, somewhere. Oh, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, I'm not doing the bash. I need to have that earthquake. No, okay. Now let's just take a look, see around here. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay, you're not in my way whatsoever. Um. Hmm. 
Hmm, it's gotta be somewhere. Did I bash these two? I might not have. Oh. Uh, mm. uh. D collision detection. <laughs> How about up in the... Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. Yep, it's hanging out up over here. You know what? I'll get on top of the table. Ah, uh, there we go. That's a better vantage point, I think. Oh! Okay, I'll just position myself when it pops out. You know, when it comes out on its own. Do -do 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 -do. It's having a good time up there, and then suddenly, shot. <laughs> okay, I got 25 of them so far. I think I am on the correct pacing, but... Now, I'm gonna try and trial and error this. That's incorrect. Uh, no. It will... Start with the green. No. Green. Blue. No. Green. Basically, every time you miss the correct one, you have to restart. So you gotta go green. Oops. Green, blue. No. <laughs> green. Blue. Green? Yes. Let's try blue again. No. <laughs> green. Blue. Green. Yellow. Uh, red. That was lucky. Green. No. Green. Blue. <laughs> green. Blue. Oh, oh shoot. I'm oh, sorry. It was yellow. Green. Blue. Green. Yellow. Red. Um. Try red again. No. Green. <laughs> blue. Green. Yellow. Red. Yellow. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot, I'm running low on arrows. Well, um, uh, I gotta go back to <laughs> the other room to get some arrows. Hold on a sec. <laughs> that's why that's why you pre prefer to have the mask, if at all possible. <laughs> Give me some arrows, please. No, no. I wonder if I should just go back to the, uh, the field to get some... Oh, there we go. Uh, let's just get up. See if I can get some more from in here. Oh, there we go. Now we're, now we're talking. <laughs> This is why you you normally need the mask rather than trial and error this because otherwise it's kind of kind of ridiculous to trial and error this. Whoops. Okay, here we go. Green, blue, green, yellow, red. Now, yeah, what? Huh? Green, blue, green, yellow, red. red. What's the last one then? What am I? Whoops. What am I? Ah, what am I doing? I don't have. <laughs> I'm running low on arrows again. Yeah, what am I like what what am I missing on that last one? Is it like it can be the same one twice in a row, but I thought I got all three of the I mean I tried all three of the other ones and I went to the fourth and it was like nope. <laughs> so I guess those pots always contain arrows? If so, that would be that would be kinda handy. Wouldn't it? Wouldn't it? I think it would be. Uh what about this no, that one doesn't seem to contain anything but a bow. <laughs> Just get oh, oh oh why did you go up there? I mean granted I'm coming up here anyway for this pot, but oh Yeah, whatever. <laughs> okay, I'm almost almost full on arrows again. I'll just I'll let that bowl live now. Alright, trial and error. Once again. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Green blue green yellow red green? No. Green, blue, green, yellow, red, yellow? Huh? Hmm? Green. Whoa, whoa, wait, no, no. Yellow, red, blue. Yeah, that's my specific combination, and yeah. They would they would tell you the combination if I had the, the certain mask, but since I don't, I had to do that. <laughs> I'm coming back in here to do the... Uh, um, to do the powers of the mask of that be, just to show you what it's like, and yeah. <laughs> anyway, art piece, yeah, that's what I was waiting for. So I don't really have to come back in here, other than for that optional dialogue from the stall children at this point. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just just saying, hey, it's possible to do it this way if you want to do it that way. It's it's tedious as all heck, but you can do it. <laughs> all right, one more door over here, and I I will not need that many arrows again. 
for obvious reasons. I believe the last five are in here. Let's get in here and start firing away at the webbings. Get out of my way, you sucker. <laughs> um, is that all the webbings? It sure seems like it. Oh, oh, no, no, you don't. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm gonna switch to that, switch to that, and I think you gotta grab- oh no no, that's not- oh wait wait, you gotta bash this. And you go in here, and then there's one up there. <laughs> oh, oh I, 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 I got the hook shot and the arrows mixed up now, because I put the arrows on the other one, and yeah. <laughs> I am never, ever going to get the- oh shoot, I'm never ever going to get the right button in the history of ever. There's also a uh, Skulltula, well, actually a couple of Skulltulas up on the rafter area that you can actually walk on top of this time. We just gotta, can I shoot on, no it's not here. Uh, let's just first go around here and take a peek see what I might have missed down here first. Because <laughs> this is a room full of all sorts of stuff. And yeah, I, I just remembered, I, I don't think there is another um, sort of kind of doorway in that library room. I was just remembering wrong. Alright, that's 29. The last one is up top top. I believe. Actually, no, I don't hear any more scoochy scratching. That might be because I have, haven't unleashed... No, no, there it is. There is the scoochy scratching. Oh, ah, that cancellation of the controls. Um, where is my target? <laughs> I'm looking for a hookshot target to get up there, basically. How about over here? Mm, no, 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 no. <sighs> looking for targets. Uh, but here's a something that looks like a target, but I assure you it's not a target. <laughs> uh, how about I do it from this side, on top of these boxes? Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, oh, there it is. There it is. Wah, wah, wah. I think it's in one of these pots, if I recall correctly. There she is, or he is, I can't tell. All I know is, I got the last gold skull to line. While we didn't see anyone that was cursed when we came in here, we kind of will now. <laughs> well, I should say that the person is no longer cursed, so, yes. And uh, I really wanted to get this done as early as possible, the spider house, because the reward we get for completing this is spectacular. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. It'll really, really come in handy in saving us time, as well as being able to, uh, well, grind for stuff a little bit easier. <laughs> By the way, to get up the slope, you gotta be a Goron. There we go. And here we go. This is the first one that was cursed. Looks just like that other one. Eh? Well, sort of, kind of. I thought I heard some loud noise inside and I came in to check it out. This place, it's some sort of underground shelter. Did you find this place? I beg you, let me have this place. Not free, of course. I hope this will do. And we get a giant wallet. It can hold up to 500 rupees. That's the biggest wallet in the game. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just glad it was something you needed. Anyhow, I won't be needing it much longer anyway. What? What do you mean by that? Uh, uh wait, wait, that, that was different dialogue. I thought I heard loud noises come from here when I came to take a look. I had no idea this place was here. I'll be safe here for sure. I'm glad I found it early. So I guess, in theory, that was the person that was cursed. He's wearing about the same clothing as that other guy that was also cursed. Uh, I believe they're a reference to that... Uh, family that got cursed in Ocarina of Time. But yeah, you can see now at the bottom left corner there, the rupee changed to uh, red. It went from green to blue to red as we kept upgrading the wallets. So yeah, now we've got the powers of uh, the ultimate wallet for us to grind rupees infinitely! <laughs> Actually, I would like to show you probably the best way in the game to grind for rupees. Because uh, I'm probably going to end up doing this between parts, at least to some extent, because it, it would be a lot to do at once, and it would be pretty annoying, and I'm not going to get like 5,000 rupees at once, so go over here to Milk Road. Uh, well, not it's, it's not actually at Milk Road per se, it's over at the entrance to Milk Road, about there. See, there's this 
rather durable enemy. And this really durable enemy is quite the rupee giver. Every time you defeat it, I believe it gives you 200 rupees. <laughs> Uh, but, if you're touched by it, it'll steal one of your bottles, and you'll have to buy it back from that curiosity shop at Clocktown. Uh, you know, the place that was, you know, the shady place? Yeah, that place. Uh, but, I believe if you reset time, you'll be good. Oh, there it is. That's the shadow of it. I'm just gonna try and target. There you are. How's it going? <laughs> it's a Takuri. Not, it's not Takiri, it's Takuri. Run, this bird steals your items! Come on, what are you doing just standing around? So, yeah, you just want to kind of shoot it and shoot it. Oh, 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 I didn't mean to shoot the gossip stone. Well, ha <laughs> ha! Feathers are going to fly. And you're not going to like what I mean by that by the time I get done with you. You're probably better off doing it with the uh, gilded sword, though, because of the, the extra power. Yeah, like that. <laughs> just don't let it touch you. Ever. Otherwise, it will be. Rather inconvenient. Oh, shoot! Well, okay, it knocks your rupees out, too. I always remember it's stealing your bottles. <laughs> well, it can steal your bottles, I know that, but... I could have swore that there was a, uh... There was, um... I, I, I mean, I, I thought I could only steal bottles, excuse me, offhand, excuse me. Oh, shoot, it's taking my rupees all over the place. That's why it's got so many rupees, because it keeps stealing rupees from people. Aha! All right, so I killed it, and I get... Look at this humongous rupee! Yes! Yes! Look at it go! Look at it go! Woo! We're rich! We're rich! So on top of that, plus the chest that you can get over at the, uh... Um... Uh, clock town that you can get every cycle. Well, you can also get that one at the end of the... Like, near the end of the third day and whatnot. Um, as well, you can get a ton of rupees really quickly. See now, like, watch what I'm gonna be doing here. I'm gonna go back out here, and I'm gonna go back through here, and then to curry. Uh, well, yeah, to curry will be back, and it will be rare to go to collect more rupees. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, I'll be raring to go to collect more rupees, so... And then, of course, once you fill up your wallet with, uh, killing this guy twice, because your wallet can only hold up to two... Um, well, other than unless, unless you want to have, like, a hundred rupee overfill. But basically, once you kill it twice, you go and, uh... Uh, take the rupees back to Clock Town, fill up the bank, and, um... Rinse, repeat, just keep on going until you've reached the fabled 5,000 rupees in the bank. And this is probably the fastest way to do it. I mean, even with all the stuff, like, being super efficient of conserving your rupees, there's, you're still not gonna come across 5,000 rupees during the course of your adventure. So, chances are, somewhere along the line, you're gonna have to grind for rupees. And wee, There it goes! <laughs> By the way, um, I think the fastest route to do this would be to always just go, like, like as soon as you get that orange rupee, you just go to Clock Town, drop off the rupees, and warp the Milk Road, kill it twice, go to Clock Town, so yeah. It's still rather tedious, but it is by far the fastest way to get money in the game. <laughs> so... Yeah, so if you want to if you want to build up your rupees between parts now Go right ahead. You might be able to say get the heart piece that you get over here before me Somewhere along the line. I'm not really concerned about racing to get this heart piece because it, as I said It's tedious to get and this that you know, it's a little bit easier to get heart pieces Elsewhere at, at moments in time. Actually, it's a little bit quicker and less tedious to do that at moments in time So what I'm gonna do here now, I think now that I taught you that stuff is end off the part here I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next part when we do some more stuff By more stuff. I mean who knows what we might do. Maybe we'll progress on the game Maybe we will do more side quests who knows? All I know is, 
items are popping out of my pockets again. Dang it. Dang it.